Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari returned to Nigeria on March 10th following a nearly two-month-long medical vacation in London, England. At this point, it is unclear and it has never been disclosed what the actual nature of President Buhari's health concerns are. Therefore, in looking ahead in forecasting, it is important to look at the potential implications of President Buhari stepping down. First, Nigeria has a very particular and informal style of political power sharing. Essentially, it was an effort to prevent one group or one region of the country from exerting too much control over the political system. In 2009, 2010, then President Yaradua had significant health problems that led to concerns over his ability to lead the country as well. Now, at a certain point, President Yaradua passed away and the presidency transitioned to his vice president, Goodluck Jonathan. Now, Goodluck Jonathan was from a very small part of the country. Therefore, when you look at the power transition in, through the lens of the geopolitical power rotation agreement, the North at the time felt aggrieved because it, it believed that its time in office or in the presidency, which was supposed to last at least one, possibly two terms under Yaradua, was in fact usurped by Jonathan, who came from the South. So if we were to see President Buhari be forced to step down, first, there could be a an uncomfortable jockeying period as people or as political supporters from the North would fight to keep President Buhari in power while those from the South or other regions would be very interested in having him step down and throwing political power to the vice president. Now, the vice president, Yemi Osinbajo, hails from Lagos, which is in the Southwest of the country and it's the country's economic capital. Now, this is notable because essentially in Nigeria, power, politics, and patronage go hand in hand, and sometimes they align with militancy. Now, what I mean by this is if Vice President Osinbajo was required to take over, there would be the inevitable transition of political power and patronage away from the north and the north central area of the country down to the southwest. Now, this could have potential implications regarding uh, the security environment. So while we hope that President Buhari's health improves, it's entirely possible that it may not. And it's important to remember that he's in his mid-70s at this point. So while the concerns over his health continue, the possibility that he may be forced to step down and that a pres new presidency under Osinbajo would take over could increase as the weeks and months go by. So again, there's numerous reasons why this provides a really important item for us to track.